Many people are talking about the rumors that the upcoming Galaxy S flagship phone would solely employ Qualcomm Snapdragon chips that have begun to circulate. The new Exynos 2500 processor, which employs A3M technology, isn't being manufactured as quickly as anticipated, according to Chief Chikuo. Therefore, Qualcomm will likely be the sole provider of chips for the Samsung Galaxy S25. Of the chips used in the Galaxy S24 series, Qualcomm supplied around 40%. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip is exclusively used in the Galaxy S24 Ultra across all regions. Exynos 2400 processor In over 15 years of producing Android phones, Samsung just discontinued utilizing Exynos chips in 2023. It powers the standard Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus in all regions except the US, Canada, China, and Japan. When Samsung revealed that Exynos will return with the Galaxy S24 series, many people were unhappy. Nonetheless, the Exynos 2400 ended up being a superb processor, while not being as excellent as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in every aspect. Although there isn't much known about the Exynos 2500, rumors suggest that it may be even more power efficient than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. Samsung's new 3NM production method is said to be the source of this improvement, however it doesn't appear to be performing up to par. Usually, we would be pleased if Samsung ceased using Exynos chips, but not this time. Samsung may increase the price of the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra due to rumors that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 would be much more costly than earlier generations. Nothing is set in stone just yet, as the Galaxy S25 rumors are still very early. In the coming months, there's always a chance that things may change and that official information on the Galaxy S25 series won't be released until after the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6 are released. A reliable source on Ice Universe claims that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will have four cameras total, but two of them will have larger, better sensors. The source posted on Web Omic that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will have a 200 megapixels main camera, a 50 megapixels ultrawide camera, a 50 megapixels telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom, and a 50 megapixels super telephoto camera with 5x optical zoom. For their high end phones, the majority of rival Android brands now employ sensors with 50 megapixels or more. Nevertheless, Samsung continued to use 10 megapixel and 12 megapixel sensors for the telephoto and ultrawide cameras on its flagship Galaxy S phones. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said, let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here, please subscribe peace out.